For the first time in American history, the Supreme Court ruled that when the Second Amendment says there's a right to keep and bear arms, that means a right to carry a handgun outside the home for self-defense. The court struck down a New York law that required showing a special need beyond a general desire for self-defense to get a permit for carrying a concealed gun in public. By a vote of six to three, the court said no other constitutional right requires showing some special need to exercise it, and that's not how the Second Amendment works. Writing for the majority, Justice Clarence Thomas said local governments can still ban guns from sensitive places, but he said that doesn't simply mean anywhere the public congregates. And Chief Justice John Roberts and Justice Brett Kavanaugh said states can still impose licensing requirements, like background and mental health checks and firearms training. The Supreme Court today said you can't require someone to justify why they want to conceal carry a gun, but it was leaving open where the state could restrict these guns and who could have them. The decision will have an immediate impact on New York and five other states with similar restrictions, but in the ruling's most far-reaching language, it said a concern for public safety isn't enough to justify new gun controls. Justice Thomas said gun regulations must be, quote, consistent with this nation's historical tradition of firearms regulation. I think this language is going to make it really difficult to justify gun laws going forward and will lead to courts striking down a wide variety of gun safety laws. In dissent, the court's three liberals listed nine recent mass shootings, including at the school in Uvalde, Texas, and the supermarket in Buffalo, New York. Justice Stephen Breyer said courts must consider the serious dangers and consequences of gun violence that lead states to regulate firearms. We'll get more decisions tomorrow. Nine cases remain from this term, including the one on whether to overturn Roe v. Wade, Lester. And Pete, what does today's ruling tell us about the makeup of the court currently? It says that this court's supermajority is now flexing its muscles, the conservative supermajority. Remember, the court has ducked this question of guns outside the home for 14 years. This term, the conservatives had the votes to answer it the way they wanted, and we're likely to see this same 6-3 to three voting pattern in decisions yet to come, Lester. Pete Williams at the Supreme Court. Thank you. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.